This video will give an introduction to the Value for Money or VFM toolkit created by the GoLab and SIPFA. I hope that this video will give you a helpful introduction to the toolkit, what it's for, how to use it, and also point you towards some helpful resources, both for Value for Money and for this toolkit more specifically. Let's get started. Now, the toolkit starts out on this intro tab, which should give you sort of an introduction and a summary of what value for money analysis is and um, what the process will be of walking through this toolkit. Uh, the toolkit is based on the four E's framework that the UK central government has put together, which stands for economy, efficiency, effectiveness, and equity. And you'll find that structure throughout this toolkit. The toolkit itself has six different tabs, including this one. There's the introduction, then the data checklist, a quantitative calculator, a qualitative assessment, a tab for specifically social impact bonds, and also a summary tab. And uh, please refer to another video in this series where we'll walk through the quantitative calculator in more detail. So the data checklist is where you would start to fill out this, this VFM toolkit. So what you do is you'd fill in your name, your position, the dates, the discount rate that your team or your local authority uses. Um, so this is for net present value calculations. And also um, the number of participants, so target participants and uh, how many you predict are actually going to be engaged in this project. Uh, the, the tool is optimized for projects that maybe involve social things, uh, maybe health and potentially also education, but we would love to have input if it can be used in other project contexts as well. So please do let us know about that. This data checklist essentially will walk you through all of the different types of data that you're going to need both to procure and also to think about in order to have a useful value for money assessment. So you can go through all of these questions and check off that you've both thought through and also procured the necessary information to really do a valuable value for money assessment in terms of these four E's of um, you know, economy, efficiency, effectiveness, and equity. And you can read through a lot of these, more de these questions in more detail on the toolkit itself, which you can download on the GoLab or CIVFA websites. Next is the quantitative assessment calculator. This is a pretty helpful toolkit where we have assembled some specific formulas and also different ways of thinking about this so that you can feed your project data into this theory of change for ease framework and predict how many outputs and outcomes, the desired sort of impact of your project, you're likely to get from the specific inputs that you're likely to put in. So that might be the staff payments or the for user payments or you know, whatever is relevant for your project. And as you can see, it walks you through in a pretty detailed way how many of those outcomes and outputs you're likely to get, as well as helping you to come up with a more quantitative equity metric. And we will walk through this tab in much more detail in a later video. The next tab is a qualitative assessment, which essentially will help you to walk through and think through all uh, many of the different questions that might be helpful uh, in this 4E's value for money framework. So there's lots of different questions and they are very likely to be helpful both for you individually as a public manager to think through, but also you might want to maybe talk this through with your team uh, and get some general agreement on how you are doing these sort of qualitative uh, metrics of, of value for money. So this might be something like, have you really thought through your sourcing strategy? Is it justified? Um, or do you have a, a usable measurement and evaluation framework for this project? And if not, how are you going to come up with one? In addition to the pre-supplied questions, we also have some additional rows, which we've provided for you to fill out any other questions uh, that are sort of these qualitative value for money questions that might fit well into this framework that are more appropriate for your context. That is the qualitative assessment tab. Onto the social impact bond specific estimates tab. This is a set of small tools that we've assembled that might be helpful for public managers who are specifically looking into launching a social impact bond project. Um, and essentially it helps you to assess the different 
risk profiles and the different likely payment structures that might arise from structuring your program in one way versus another way. Uh, so this might be very helpful for you if you're trying to launch a social impact bond. If not, don't worry. Um, it's only for this learning tool um, and it will not feed too much into the other tabs. So that's that tab. And finally, we have a summary. This summary tab gives you something that you can actually print out and refer to. It has a, a lot of different necessary metrics that might be helpful for a value for money assessment, which includes the per participant cost, the total value of the outputs, cost efficiency and cost effectiveness ratios, as well as benefit cost ratio. And also it compiles your qualitative assessments into more of a aggregated score that you can use to identify whether there might be some problems in your qualitative metrics as well. So this is really something that you can print out, you can refer to, definitely please use it as a learning tool. And um, we really hope that this will be helpful for you to get a more general summary of how you're doing in terms of value for money. So that was the GoLab SIPFA Value for Money Toolkit. I hope you found this helpful and please do refer to the links in the description for more information. And please do get in touch if you have any questions or comments.